Hey guys, this is Ballin and today I want to show you the best kill spots and kill holes on the map Oregon. As last time I will start with the most common and most useful spots first. And at the end of the video I will show you some nice to know spots which are not really that useful but eventually you will profit from one of these spots in the future. So here we got our first spot, you can open the floor at the top of the stairs upstairs and look all the way down to laundry room. And this spot is very common and very often used actually. With the second spot you can kill enemies hiding behind the beds in uh, the dorms. So if they are upstairs you can just go in underneath them, you can as well uh, throw a nade underneath the ceiling and kill them with the nade or you can just wallbang them with Buck or Ash, it's extremely effective. And if you know that someone is hiding at these beds and you're defending, you can of course use your Nitro Cell to kill them as well. Another really cool spot to kill someone in dorms is this one over here. You can time your nade and throw it right over there and you will kill anyone that is hiding behind the beds in the dorm's main hall, which will very often be the case, but of course you could as well wallbang them by shooting the ceiling right where it begins and meets the wall. My next spot I actually got from Serenity's video called Dirty Angles, uh, where he explains some of these wallbangs as well. So this one is to deny Thermite from planting his Thermite charge uh, above the objective. Uh, if it's downstairs in laundry, of course you can could do this from uh, the sky bridge as well. So you can escape quickly through the ladder and you can uh, watch all the other trap holes as well. So another good spot would be over here, but this is a little bit visible. So it's quite obvious that you're trying to prevent Thermite from uh, planting his charge over there. And the next spot is actually quite cool and I think no one will actually expect it. You can open the floor above a garage and you can watch all the doors and the window in garage. So, well, you can prevent everyone, anyone from going into the garage, which is quite uh, a good thing. And because you're firing from above and the enemy will see the hole very late, it's very easy to get some nice headshots from these kill spots. Now this spot over here is actually my favorite spot because it worked so many times for me. You can just open the uh, ceiling underneath the big window at dorms and well if someone jumps through the window you can easily kill him from underneath. And you could of course do this with a nitro cell as well. So for example, if it's biohazard container, you will get the message that it's being contested or secured and then you can just blow up the nitro cell and boom, you got a kill. Of course, you could make peak holes underneath the windows next to Skybridge as well, but it is not that effective because you will be very vulnerable to enemies that are coming from the workshop. If you want to kill anyone that is going in from the balcony into the bigger bedroom, you can of course open this wall. You could open it with an uh, impact nade as well, which will leave a very big hole so you can basically watch it from every angle. And of course it is possible to watch it from underneath as well by making holes into the ceiling over there. But again, if you want to use these spots, you have to be very careful because you could easily be killed from the main door. Now this spot is quite cool as well and I didn't see anyone use it so far. So uh, you can basically just make a peek hole into the wall at rear stage, um, just underneath the tower. You can make some more holes for distraction, so it won't be that obvious. And well, you can watch the door from over there. 
And well, another really good way to hold the dorms upstairs is uh, to make peek holes into the wall over here. And then you can watch the window, you can watch the stairs from over there. And well, you could go into this hallway, barricade the door, so no one will get you from behind by surprise. And then you can watch the stairs and the windows. But of course you have to take care for the window on your right. And well, here's a really good spot in meeting hall. You can just make a hole into the table over here and another hole into the wall. So basically you can watch the door from behind the sandbag barricade. So basically you can uh, lean to the right, peek through, through this little hole and shoot anyone that tries to get in through the door and then go behind cover, reload and then peek again. And well, another really good peek hole would be downstairs. If you make a hole into the wall right exactly at this height, uh, you will be able to see anyone that is laying down on the stairs over there. You could put a shield uh, behind the wall as well, so no one will be able to shoot you through the wall. And then if you look closely, you can uh, see a little gap and well, if someone lays down on the stairs, which will very often be the case, you can shoot them. And well, the cool thing is that they can't see you if they lay down. Even if they uh, lay down and drop all the way back to, to the end of the stairs, they can't see the peak hole. And that's really cool because you can shoot them, they can't see you. And it's actually possible to do with our Lord Tachanka as well. So it's really a good spot actually. And well, here's a really good spot to hold construction site. This will be very common, so probably most of you will know this spot. And well, it's not that easy to spot someone who's standing over there. The next spot is not really that useful, but well, it exists. So you can make a hole into this wall and another hole into the floor on the top of the stairs. And if you sit on top of the stairs, you can watch the door from garage. And well, here's a good spot to kill anyone that is repelling outside at the windows at the kid storms. And of course, this spot is very common. So if someone is standing at the window in front of the dorms, you can back rip them from over there. But this spot is really cool as well. If someone tries to attack kitchen, you can just uh, peek through this window or jump out and kill anyone that's standing in front of the door. Another thing that a lot of players don't think of is that you can actually kill enemies that are repelling at the kid storm's windows or standing on the roof um, from the sky bridge. And well, these spots over here in the big tower are very common, but nevertheless I wanted to include them into my video. So yeah, basically you can see a lot from the tower windows. And well, here's a way to defend the small tower from kitchen. Uh, you can just make peak holes over here in this wall and another one on the opposite wall. And then you have a lot of angles to watch doors and windows. And my last spot is downstairs. You can make some holes into the wall at laundry and then watch the door at supply room. And yeah, that's it basically for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. See you next time.